Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new American Optical Flynn sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. Hey everyone, so I'm editing the video right now, and I do want to mention that American Optical did send me out these frames for review, uh, so I didn't have to pay anything for them. Uh, but as always, I try to make my videos as un as it possibly can, but I do want to mention they did send me these frames out for review. Uh, let's roll the video. So the brand new Flynn here are based off the American Optical Original Pilot sunglasses. So let's go ahead and pop these frames on and talk about the dimensions. These only come in one lens size, and that is 55 millimeter lenses in a 22 millimeter bridge. And these are gonna be very similar to the standard size of the original Pilot sunglasses that I have right here, which have 55 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge. Uh, so as we can see here, they do look very, very similar. However, the Flynn are based off the larger 57 millimeter lens size. So even though they look very, very similar in size, these are actually based off the larger 57 millimeter original Pilot sunglasses. And I actually went ahead and measured these myself, and sure enough, these are in fact uh, based off the 57 millimeter lens size of the original Pilot. And because we have these acetate inserts, it actually reduces reduces the lens size, so it makes the lens size basically the same as the 55 millimeter lens size, which is really, really interesting. Uh, I definitely did not expect uh, that, because just by looking at them, they don't look that much bigger. Uh, and again, the lens size is actually identical. It's just you have that extra uh, couple millimeters here of the width of the acetate frame. So definitely something very interesting to note. So these are definitely going to fit people with wider faces uh, pretty well. I did like that. And another thing that I do want to mention here is uh, even though these frames have 55 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge, they actually say uh, AOUSA 5520. So it's almost like they're using the same uh, top bridge that they would be using with the uh, 55 millimeter lens size. So technically, the information there is incorrect. And the reason why the bridge is bigger is because the bridge is measuring from lens to lens. So that extra two millimeters again is going to be uh, missing because the, uh, the acetate insert is there. So uh, definitely kind of interesting as far as how they uh, do the dimensions here. Of course, this stuff is just, you know, it's not really, really important, but I did want to uh, add it for those of you uh, sunglass enthusiasts who, who might pick up on something like that. Uh, again, these are based on the 57 millimeter lens size, which is the large size, but they definitely wear much more similar to a 55 millimeter lens size as far as the looks go. Now, as far as the colorway here goes, these have American Optical's uh, gold frames with their teak acetate inserts, which look really, really beautiful. Especially in wearing these out in the sunlight, I really do like the look of these frames. And the lenses here are AO light nylon lenses, and these are extremely, extremely light. And then the lens color here is their color bar, a uh, green, which is really, really nice. I do love these nylon lenses. The optical clarity of these is very, very good. And they are also very, very light at the same time. Now, something that I thought was extremely, extremely interesting, and I honestly have no idea how this is even possible. But I actually took the uh, standard 55 millimeter lens size and put it on a scale and it weighs 30 grams. And then I put on the Flynn and again, it came in at 30 grams. I tested it several times and then uh, recalibrated the scale and sure enough, these are 30 grams and these are 30 grams. So how in the world is that possible with these you know, thick uh, acetate inserts and then with the larger frame itself? I don't know. I'm guessing it has to do with the bayonet temples that are found on this original pair, uh, adding all that extra weight there. You can see it's much thicker than the skull uh, temples that are found on the Flynn. Uh, but I don't know. Again, I, it, does, it doesn't really make sense. It really doesn't make sense. I did, I did try this on actually two different scales to make sure that my findings were correct. But yeah, the weight of these is the exact same. Doesn't make sense, but I am definitely, definitely not complaining because these frames are extremely lightweight and you can wear these all day long 
30 grams is really, really lightweight uh, for a pair of frames like this. And uh, you can wear these frames all day long without any discomfort because of that, uh, which is really, really nice and very impressive. I definitely, definitely did not expect that. Uh, now, as far as the lenses go, they're going to, of course, block 100% of UVA and UVB rays, which is extremely important for your eye health. And they also have a very nice antifective material here in the backside of the lens. And it does a really, really good job. You can see it actually looks dark than most lenses uh, and because of that it's actually blocking that much more uh, light and not allowing it to reflect which is really really nice i do like the new material that they are using here on these anti-reflective uh, lenses it of course works really well and if you take a close look at it you can actually see it like literally just kind of diffusing the light which is really really cool i do like that then they also do have an oleophobic coating which does make helping uh, clean the lenses a lot easier it kind of repels water and you know sweat and allows you to clean them very easily they also are impact resistant and they are scratch resistant as well and of course they are light because uh, they are made out of a nylon material so these lenses have a lot of really good things uh, going for them and i really do like these a lot now as far as the styling on these frames goes they definitely have really really interesting and cool styling to them so like i said they are based off an original pilot but they do take inspiration from the uh, turn of the century american optical driving goggles and then also the mid-century uh, safety goggles as well uh, and you can kind of tell that i actually do own a couple of their archived uh, safety goggle sunglasses or eyeglasses and they are really cool as well they have kind of these like thick side shields and they were made you know mostly for like industry work and they just look really cool to this day that's why i have a couple pairs and these definitely are very reminiscent of that and uh, they're also going to add a little bit of pra more practicality as well with the side shields so as far as coverage from sun goes here at the corners we can see they do come in and they're going to block more sunlight from coming in directly into the eye. And then here on the sides here, again, we can see they do definitely offer some more uh, protection. However, uh, these are a semi-transparent acetate uh, colorway, and these are their teak colorway. Uh, so because of that, they're not going to block all the brightness because, again, it is semi-transparent. If these are like black side shields, I think it would do a better job. Uh, as far as you know helping with the coverage goes uh, so they definitely do help but they don't make a massive difference uh, because again they are semi-transparent there uh, so I think of these frames, it's kind of more about styling uh, than anything else, but there is definitely a practicality a layer to these frames. Now, something that's really interesting is they actually have a little cutout insert uh, here on the frame uh, where the temples can actually come in and fold properly uh, because of the cutout. If that cutout wasn't there, they wouldn't be able to fold more than... Uh, this angle right here, which would definitely not be practical. So they actually uh, notched out the acetate insert, which is pretty cool as well, and definitely adds a really interesting look. Now, something that I did notice is sometimes when I close the frames, I actually kind of caught my finger uh, you know, into the acetate, which is a weird thing to happen. I don't, I don't know if it's a certain way that I close them, but it's if I'm not looking at the frames. And I close them by grabbing the front of the hinge right here, which is typically how I do it, because when you use uh, the temple, you're putting a little bit more wear and tear and stress on the whole frame. Again, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of the way that I, I like to operate things. I like to close them right near the base. And because of that, I've actually, you know, kind of pinched my finger in it a couple times. Again, not a big deal, but definitely something where you're just like, wait, what happened? and you feel stupid for a second. Uh, now, these frames do have fully adjustable nose rests, uh, just like the original pilots do, so you can completely adjust these to your liking, which is really nice. The side shields don't affect the operation of these uh, nose rests whatsoever, which is nice. Now, if we take a look here at the inner uh, right ear rest of the frame, we can see they do say Flynn and then Gold Teak, and then the inner left, we can see it does say American Optical with their little logo there as well. Now, something else that I do want to mention here is the temples are a different diameter and completely different than the ones found on the original pilot, though I believe uh, they are interchangeable, but they are completely different, if that makes sense. The actual uh, hinge mechanism is the same, as far as I can tell. Uh, but here on the Flynn, we can see they start out kind of thick and then get kind of thinner. And then here on the original pilots, we can see they just say the same thickness all the way uh, throughout the frame, and that might help with the weight difference, with these being uh, more lightweight. Uh, 
but again, not a big difference, but because of this, I do expect the original pilots to be able to withstand a little bit more wear and tear because they are definitely more beefy, especially as they taper down here on the Flynn. Again, not a big deal, but something I, I did want to mention. Uh, so overall, these frames are really, really great. You can get a non-polarized pair of these frames for only $280. And if you do want to step up to a polarized pair, it's only going to cost $310. So only $30 extra to upgrade to a polarized lens. And that's actually a really good price point. Uh, typically polarized lenses are going to run you at least $50 more than non-polarized lenses. So I do appreciate uh, that they're not, you know, charging these crazy prices for polarized lenses. Uh, but yeah, overall, a really good pair of frames. I do do like these frames a lot. Just a really interesting and classy looking pair of frames uh, with definitely a lot of American Optical's history baked into them as well. And yeah, if you do want to buy these, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below uh, where you can pick up these frames. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Do you love these? Do you hate these? Uh, let us know and we can start a conversation in the comment section down below. But that's all I got for guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.